dear students uh, in this particular video you will be able to understand the processes of counseling in a nutshell uh, so when we talk about processes involved in counseling uh, this particular uh, segment will be able to uh, you will be able to understand how will you initiate the counseling in uh, the counseling session how you progress and gather information about what the problem the client is facing how you both will come into a mutual agreement with a professional relationship furthermore making a note of the problems that the client is having how you try to prioritize the sequence of the problem wherein which problem to take up first and sequentially you will understand how to basically help your client so in the process of counseling the goal setting stage becomes very very important because in the working stage basically you are trying to come up with certain important goals that the client has to accomplish and as a counselor you will help the client to basically you know uh, you will help the client to basically uh, come up with you know the uh, alternate uh, pathways uh, as to how they are going to look at the problem that they are facing so basically the counseling processes in a nutshell includes five important stages in the entire counseling structure so these five important stages would include initiating the counseling session that is the first one the second important aspect is gathering the information the next stage would include mutual goal setting in the next stage you are working with the client on the mutual agreement and you will be terminating the counseling session so in the initial uh, initiating the counseling session basically you are more uh, busily trying to establish rapport with the client you are trying to apply all the basic skills in counseling especially the attending behavior the active listening the observation and few of the basic questioning skills where you are applying your open ended questions close ended questions leading questions and also a few uh questions where you will allow the client to reflect through these basic skills you will be initiating the counseling session and you will try to explore the basic problem that the client is facing using mental status examination and case history taking so um in the uh, in the uh, you know uh, classes as well as in the content of your counseling you have already had you already have an idea of what case study taking is and how do you do it you also have an awareness as to what is mental status examination and how these two things basically becomes the important tool in understanding the client and also understanding what problems the client is facing in the second important pro, in the second step you are trying to gather information so you are trying to gather information as to what are the possible positive asset search that the client is having so what are the client's strengths what are the client's positive aspects what are the environmental support or what are the social support that the client is having yeah and through the story narration you may have to divide what are the major concerns the client is having so prioritizing each of those problems apart from that you are also trying to uh, you know identify what are the major positive assets search like i already told you earlier once you jot down all this information you both can come up with a mutual goal setting stage so in the mutual goal, goal setting stage you are trying to pick up each of the problem that the client is facing and we will try to apply an appropriate technique that is required in the counseling process so these techniques would include for example systematic desensitization if any phobia is reported or 
it could also be cognitive behavior therapy if it is an interpersonal case or it could be self instructional training where a client is giving for himself or herself to basically gain career improvement or academic improvement so identifying the problem from the identification of the problem also identifying the proper technique that is required in the working stage of the counseling session these things will be uh, you know worked out by the counselor predominantly and also trying to take the consent of the client so after um, after uh, after immen uh, after intense working that happens during the working stage of the counseling session finally you will try to help the client to apply those techniques and apply those therapies in the real life situations and once you the client is able to do that and reduce the conflicts and reduce the kind of you know uh, uh, incongruencies or reduce the kind of problems what they are facing eventually you will allow the client to help them to terminate the session so terminating the counseling session is one of the last processes that is involved in the counseling session which basically has a lot of constant feedbacks which we take with each other so uh, when we talk in termination skill we need to figure out from the client whether they have enough amount of social skills to basically go and empower them outside in the real life situation and also evaluating the entire counseling session processes what worked out for the client what did not work out for the client where the client requires an improvement all these things can be discussed before the terminating the counseling session so after the terminating of the counseling session the client would be requested to come for follow up it's very important to educate the client about what is follow up why is follow up very essential and basically follow up can also uh, you know uh, follow up can always avoid a lot of relapses that is happening uh, in the relapses that is happening in the client's life events so sensitizing them about the importance of follow up the session can be formally terminated the other important aspects that we need to remember in the entire counseling uh, processes is contract form and uh, uh, making a uh, you know uh, keeping uh, transference counter transference in mind yeah and uh, identifying if any referrals is required ruling out any kind of psychopathology or any kind of severe psycho severe uh, psychopathology that the client is having so keeping all these things in mind becomes very very important so i hope this video basically gave you a basic understanding of what are the five major stages of counseling processes so in summary i would like to say it is an initiating the counseling session gathering information mutual goal setting uh, working with the client and finally terminating the counseling session thank you